Hello everyone and thanks for hanging out with me. Now I'm doing the charging test with the ID3 Pro S 77 kilowatt hour battery. It should do 125 kilowatt and we just started and it does 123 so that's really cool. It's still now it's 125. That's the stuff. I hope I can this this how I film it works. You can see something. I will charge to I don't know 80% maybe 90 We'll see how it all goes up, but 125, that's just so cool. And it worked right away. So that's fun. Yeah. I will, I will go through the charging curve at home then in a different video, but that's just awesome. Look at that. It was at 350 amps, it goes, went down a bit, but of course the voltage will now go up. My voltage goes up to 450 in the 58 kilowatt hour battery. Will be interesting to see how far this goes up. So as you could see, I forgot my tripod and so I had to attach a suction cup and film it. And of course it was daylight and then Ionity charger are horrible. And so here you can see the screen and what I did every minute, I put the information underneath so you can see, but you can still see what I'm doing here. But let's go. It starts off with 123 kilowatt and it goes up to 125 in just a minute. And that's just awesome. 10% is reached in just four minutes. And in those four minutes, uh, 6.9 kilowatt hours have been charged. You can see the voltage is lower than in the in the first edition, so in the 58 kilowatt hour battery. But the amp goes up to 350 in the beginning and then of course it goes down. Still 125 at 15%. It's been six minutes, 11 kilowatt hours charged and uh, 10 to 20% takes four minutes. Our average at 17% is 113 kilowatts of charging. And I, I did a calculation uh, on this, as you can see, just going up and just calculating kilowatt hours and the time. Um, we are 24% in nine minutes, still 125 kilowatt. Voltage goes up, of course. We're already 19 kilowatt hours after 10 minutes. That's pretty nice. 27% 10 minutes, 126 kilowatt now. And that's stayed just for, for a bit. But still, and then it goes down 124. 377 volt. The amp, of course, goes down after 13 minutes, 25.7 kilowatt hours charged. Um, the 20 to 30 percent took only three minutes and th uh, 30 to 40 will take five minutes because it's getting slower a bit as you can see now 119 kilowatt uh, we had 40 percent after 15 minutes 37 percent of and and those 15 minutes so from three percent to 40 percent is the same time that it will take from 90 to 100 that's why you never charge full <laughs> 378 volt now 281 amps the amps go down after 17 minutes, or oh, let's wait to the next, still 106 kilowatt. When will it, even at 47%, you still have 102 kilowatt, still above 100, but it goes down in a second. There we go, at 49%, we have 99 kilowatt, but still almost to 50% to be above 100 kilowatt. After 20 minutes, we have 38.4 kilowatt hours charged. Wow, so 40 to 50% also took five minutes, uh, 50 to 60 will take also five minutes. Uh, we're at 92 kilowatt now at 53%, after 22 minutes we're at 55%, 41 and a half kilowatt hours charged. It's still at 91 kilowatt, 382 volts. Uh, 231 amp and uh, soon the picture will get better because it got dark. Yeah, Ionity is not good when it's when it's really bright and the sun is shining on, on it. It's just hard to film. It's better to do that at night or you have something to cover everything and I didn't have that. I mean, I even forgot my tripod for God's sake. <laughs> uh, at 61%, 82 kilowatts still, 62% uh, after 26 minutes, 47.2 kilowatt hours charged. A voltage is now at 385 the voltage just goes a bit above 400 on my car it uh, goes to 450 so on 50 kilowatt chargers this car will charge slower <laughs> but still look at that we had 71 kilowatt after 29 minutes or 70 kilowatt charging 68 percent 51.7 kilowatt hours charged voltage goes still a bit up and amps goes down of course 
and uh, I think I sped up the, the video a bit now. 70%, 66 kilowatts still charging, after 31 minutes, 53.3 kilowatt hours charged. Uh, 60 to 70% took six minutes, we're slowing down a bit. And, and on the side here, you can always see on the, uh, the average charging speed, we are seven, uh, after 33 minutes, 73%, 65 kilowatts still charging speed, 56.6 uh, .6 kilowatt hours charged. It's, it's going, it's really going, even to 99% you will see it still charges with 27 kilowatt. That's just awesome. 76% after 35 minutes, 65 kilowatt still. Wow, almost, uh, we can see it almost now 60 kilowatt hours charged after 37 minutes. We had 78% still 66, 65 kilowatts of power, almost reaching the 400 volt. <laughs> this is like a race. Yeah, 80% <laughs> after 38 minutes. 62 kilowatt hours charge, still 66, and it's hovering around that 65, 66 kilowatt power, almost at the 400 volt. Um, 60 to 70, we did. 70 to 80 percent took eight minutes. 80 to 90 percent will take 10 minutes, and then the last 90 to 100 will take 15 minutes. We have 41 minutes, 65 kilowatt hours charged at 84%, 55 kilowatts of power. When will we, will it go under 50 kilowatt? I think soon. We're at 400 volt now, the amp goes there. We have 50 and 49 at 86%. You have 49 kilowatt after 43 minutes, but then it gradually goes down. And that's totally fine with me. Uh, 400 volts, it's going up a tiny bit. We are almost at 90%. 88, 68 kilowatt hours charged. It, the, the charging session worked really well, just the filming wasn't that amazing. So that's all my fault. <laughs> you can blame me for that. 89%, almost at 90. Where are we? Come on, 90%, still 39 kilowatt power and almost 70 kilowatt hours charged in 48 minutes. We're at 402 volt. The whole charging system was the same as, as with my car, but here we uh, uh, put 78 kilowatt hours in the battery and with me it was 62. So same time, 63 minutes. 92%, 36 kilowatt and 72 kilowatt hours charged. Ooh, it's just, it's good power. I like it. And as you can see, it goes down and down and the voltage goes slowly up, amp goes down, 93%. It just will take a few minutes. It's still 10 minutes from 94 now till the end to 100%. And as you can see, um, it's, since it's gradually going down, you can stop wherever you want. But, but of course, 80% uh, is... is like the limit because it charges pretty fast even to 70 and you get decent range out of the 70 percent but to 80 it just takes eight minutes more i don't know if you do that 95 percent now still 32 kilowatt after 56 minutes 75 kilowatt hours charged so the last four percent will be around three kilowatt hours it takes six minutes still going now we are 30 this is where the e-up charges <laughs> around 30 to 34 so that is from 90 percent it charges faster than the e-up or e-golf was a bit before that but still amazing after 60 minutes we are at 30 kilowatt 98 percent 76 kilowatt hours charged three minutes more you can see 98%, it's soon gonna to switch to 99 now, and we still have 28 kilowatt, now 27. <laughs> awesome, and now the last percent just, uh, it goes gradually down, and you can see, it. I think it doesn't go under 19 or something, the same as mine. The, the, the plus, the first edition plus also was, and then we're done, 78.1 kilowatt hours charged in 63 minutes. It was a great charging session. And let's look at our stuff. So first, the charging curve you can see here. So this is the normal charging curve of this car. And it's really the same charging curve as the 58 kilowatt hours when you see state of charge in minutes. But here you have a bigger battery and then more uh, energy in the battery and more range. 
and then on the other side the next graph is the charging power in kilowatt with the state of charge and you can see where it hovered around 65 66 and then it goes down again and then at the end so you can really stay if you, if you say 65 you can still stay to 80 percent if you see that but if you really want power then it's around 70 and let's look at the comparison first of all this is a uh, kilowatt hours charged in time and as you can see, of course, it's the, in my, the cars that I have tested were like six cars and the orange is my car. So the normal ID3 and the, what is it, Turkish is here, the Pro S and you can see how it's just always above everything. It's just awesome. Look at the kilowatt, the power uh, on percent and here you can see it's almost the same graph as my car, just everything higher, <laughs> even even that this is uh, in state of charge is not kilowatt hours charge it's still above my car the whole time and then range edit for this i calculated um, um i took the the where i did the test with 130 kilometers with the pro s i took the consumption that it had at 119 then calculated if it would be the same as when I tested my car, which the average speed was 122, so it was 210, I think, watt hours per kilometer, and then I took what I uh, what my car had at 90, and then calculated what this is an estimation, and it would be 134 watt hours per kilometer, and then you can see range added here. Again, we have those six cars. My car is orange, and the uh, uh, Turkish one is the Pro S and as you can see it's just it adds so much range 200 kilometers of range at 90 kilometers an hour constant speed at what is this 12 12 12 minutes um, 400 kilometers was at 30 percent around 30 percent and then it ends at, at 580 uh, um, this is again estimated um, and I hope I get a Pro S to test it for real, but 580 kilometers, it's a long, <laughs> it's a long drive. But I think that's it. Thank you much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.